subscribe to Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails. Let's go check it out. You're looking at California Highway 120. We'll be making a right onto Yosemite Lakes Road. You'll see the Valero fuel station along with the Yosemite General Store off to your left. So, first time we've run into a general store and fuel station that was operated by Thousand Trails. So this is indeed unique. You just follow the uh, big arrow down the hill to the check-in station. The general store is a well-stocked store and if you have a Thousand Trails membership, you'll receive a 10% discount. As you make your way down the hill from the fuel station, you'll see this sign, Yurt Village. Um, you go down that road there. They also have a gate, and there are very attractive yurts out that road. Let's go take a look. If I was gonna spend money for a yurt, I'd want up here on this knoll. These are pretty nice looking accommodations up here. And the scenery is really nice. This yurt is HY15. Let me take you up there on the porch. That's HY13. Spectacular, eye-popping color this time of year. Beautiful. You couldn't see inside, but I could. And uh, there's a fireplace in there, very large bed. It's a nice accommodation. HY15. So you can see the arrows right there. You just pull your RV up and go in that building. They'll check in. Uh, really friendly staff in there. They have a pretty slick operation set up. Uh, that is the family lodge. It's under construction, still under construction. Uh, there's no pool or hot tub or anything like that here, but uh, you can go in there and watch TV. They have access to free Wi-Fi, and then the laundry is right next to it. Um, Melody will be giving you a tour of the laundry room later in this video. I'm in the laundry room this afternoon at Yosemite Lake RV Resort. Um, I'm going to apologize for the noise in the background. It's the dryers going, so I do apologize. They have seven washers, and depending on the cycle you choose, you are looking at two twenty-five or two fifty. And the machines only take quarters. Over on this side, you're going to find fourteen dryers. But right now, it looks like there's six that are down. Um, hopefully, they'll be up and running pretty soon. If you need your basic wash, um, stuff, soap, um, soap powder, fabric softener sheets, you can get them from here. You have a sink with some paper towels and a nice folding table. And they also have a um, change machine and it does work. Somebody used it while I was in here. They have a nice seating area right here. And this would be your view. Not too shabby. And then over here you will find a list of the hours and it looks like they also tell you the prices for the washers and dryers. This construction folks are working on the family lodge right behind me. But uh, this is the river. You have uh, riverside camping right here at Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails. It is a pretty river. This is upstream. And I'm on a footbridge. It takes you from the uh, main activity area over to their tent camping area. Off to the right here, some tent camping. It's a very large area. The reason I walked you over here, we have getaway cabins. And if you're a Thousand Trails member, um, 
you can rent one of those getaway cabins, depending on what kind of membership you have. You may get a complimentary getaway cabin for X number of years of your membership. Melody and I do. We have 10 years of a full week at a getaway cabin, and we can use them here at Yosemite Thousand Trails. There's a look at some of the cabins. And here's another look at the getaway cabins. That's getaway cabin number three off to my right, number two dead ahead, and then number one. Um, where Melody and I have been in Yosemite National Park three times uh, during the week. We arrived on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We made day trips into Yosemite National Park. Yosemite Valley is just 50 minute drive from Yosemite Lakes, Thousand Trails. So here's another vantage point of that walking bridge. You have the getaway cabins and this whole area right in here is tent camping. This is a very scenic campground. Um, while I'm walking you over, there's several different RV camping areas. While I'm walking you over to where we're camped, uh, we, we, we selected the large flat open area that's in the, basically the center of the campground. And uh, while I'm walking over to my site, I'm gonna throw up some photographs of our various different day trips to Yosemite National Park. As a footnote, Melody and I did two separate videos on Yosemite. One is of Yosemite Falls, and the other is of Yosemite National Park in the fall. Check those out. a few sites right along the river here. Looks like there's several open. Let's go down take a look at uh, one of these sites that are open. This is the river side camping. This is site number 67. Let's go take a look at site 67 here. Thirty fifty amp electric hookup. And you know what? That is a sore. Well, I'll be darned. This is why I do the walking tour. So that's a look back out at site 67. You can get your rig level in that site. And you're backed right up along the river here. This was roaring the day we arrived had uh, 24 hours of straight rain dump on North Central California the day before we arrived. Uh, the river's pretty tame today, but this was roaring when we first arrived. Melody and I just arrived at Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails. Yesterday we had 24 hours of straight rain at Lake Minden about a three hour drive from here. They received rain here as well. The rain just ended. And there's a lot of water coming down through the river that runs right down through the campground here at Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trail. And as you can see, there's even more riverside camping down this way. And adjacent to the riverside camping area, you'll find some standard cabins. Plenty of cabins here at Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trail. This is the large central camping area that I told you about. This is where Melody and I decided to camp. And that's our rig right there. There's some cabins that go down that way. There's a standard cabin. We're really pleased with our site. As you can see, uh, we had a fantastic time here at 
Yosemite Lakes Thousand Trails, and we absolutely love Yosemite National Park. It may in fact be our favorite national park. Um, you gotta watch those other videos. Uh, let's knock on a door and see if uh, we can talk to Melody and, and uh, get Milo on camera. There's something Melody wants to point out to you. Okay, well Melody and Milo are out. You can see Melody's have been painting some of her rocks. She likes, uh, it's one of her hobbies. She likes to put these rocks in different places we go. People find them and then report them online. Sometimes. Sometimes they report them. Uh, so Mel, you wanted to tell them about um, our, right before we arrived here. OMG. You will be sitting on the edge of your seat. There is a portion of the road called Priest Road. Priest Road? Is that what it's called? Priest Grade. Priest Grade Road. And it is three miles of a very, 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 very windy road. Try not to arrive after dark. I just spoke to a lady and they had some issues and they ended up not getting here until 8 o'clock last night and she said it was very scary. Um, so just be prepared. Also be sure you'll see a sign that says turn off your air conditioner. Make sure you turn the air off in your rig. Um, it can... It can be very scary. That initial, I, I tell you, I, I do the driving and uh, it's a very steep graded road with many turns, sharp turns, uh, that you can't take faster than 30 miles an hour. If that. So, um, it, it is a, a nerve wracking drive to get up here, but after you get settled uh, and you get your rig parked in the Thousand Trails campground, uh, you're fine. Um, that that route coming in here is how most people with big rigs are going to come in because I cannot imagine coming in the other way on California Highway 120 because of various different tunnels and the roads are even worse. Well, and it's also there are signs it's not recommended in certain spots. Right. So That's through the National Park. So, okay, we wanted to impart that upon you because of the videos we had watched that were on YouTube of this campground many of them did not address that steep grade priest grade it's before you get to groveland california on california highway 120. a note on cellular service there is no cellular service melody and i have verizon at&t and t-mobile there's none here zero for the first time we uh purchased a week worth of wi-fi from Thousand Trails. They have these Wi-Fi towers throughout the uh, park. And uh, so we can get minimal Wi-Fi. It's enough to do basic tasks. Sometimes you can do some streaming, like late at night. But uh, that's something to be aware of. I think I'm gonna leave it here. If you like these videos, like and subscribe, and I'll see you down the road.